What's up internet? My name is Brock and in this video I'm going to show you how I made a really cheap and easy uh, sleeping platform for my 2009 Subaru Impreza, but I think it would work pretty well and would be a pretty good solution with any uh, small hatchback and really it doesn't take much work at all. You can do all the cutting uh, at Home Depot when you buy the wood itself, so you really don't need that many tools. Uh, but yeah, let me show you. Let me show you how I did it. So last night I slept in here with my girlfriend, and there's definitely uh, plenty of room for two people. I would say it's comparable to a two-person uh, camping tent, and that's not including the space in the front seats. So um, I'm like five nine, and there's plenty of room for me to fit head to toe. Um, slightly more room on the driver's side in the 2009 Impreza. So it's actually just uh, like three sheets of plywood. Uh, sometimes we go pretty comfy or comfort wise when we car camp and we got, I mean, foam pad, our backpacking pads, sleeping bag and blankets. So plenty of coziness in here. So since it's all kind of already in here from last night, I'll just kind of work backwards here and showing you what the setup is like. And it got down to probably, I don't know, I bet 30 or so degrees last night and we were both plenty warm uh, with this setup. So this is just like a, I don't know, inch or inch and a half thick memory foam mattress pad. And that kind of helps protect, I guess, the sleeping pads from the uh, any like splinters or also kind of even out any cracks or anything. So it's three pieces of wood uh, here and they're not fastened in any way, they just kind of fit in nicely in here. Um, the foot piece here is actually, doesn't really do a whole lot, it's just kind of in to keep these uh, in place because the two side pieces can't be the whole length of the back seat because they need to be able to I need to be able to slide up a little bit here so that the seats uh, can come back when you're driving. So at the widest point, these pieces are each about 25 inches. And then down here at the narrow point, they are like 21 inches. I measured um, from the armrest to the armrest and it was 50 inches and then uh, 42 back here. I just kind of free handed that area. They're not the same on each board, but it doesn't really matter. It's just to give it that cutout space uh, from the wheel well there. Yeah, so it's 42 between the wheel wells. Um, you can buy sheets of wood, if you don't know, at Home Depot on eight foot by four foot sheets. So I just left these at four foot because that was the easiest way to I uh, have the fewest amount of cuts at Home Depot. I think this piece here was just like out of a scrap. Sometimes they have scraps laying around at Home Depot. So this, those ones are nicer uh, pieces of wood uh, that I didn't want to have to like sand too much. So this one here is like 20 and three quarter inches. Um, so that fits pretty snugly on the passenger side. The driver's side seat actually goes a little bit farther forward, which is why I take uh, that side. And the other thing is, so these platforms just kind of go behind the driver's seat. So mine are on like a half inch or three quarter inch thick floor mat. So I guess that's something to keep in mind. I don't think these need to be exactly right, but mine are 18 and a half inches tall. Um, and they're just two by fours and scrap wood. All right, just for the sake of showing you this, you can do it with just one piece of wood in there. So it sits in there, just like that little cutout uh, works nice there. All right, so head to toe, I fit on that side uh, 
with a few inches to spare. So maybe uh, five, eleven, or six foot, you could still still squeeze in without bending your knees too much. If you're fine with bending your knees, you'd fit uh, pretty comfortably, I would think. However, I know I measured it when I was making it for the passenger side, and I fit pretty much exactly. When I've used this by myself, I'll just only leave the passenger side in, so that way um, it can be set up while I'm driving because the passenger seat can be all the way forward. That's probably the biggest downfall with this setup is that to put it in, um, the seats need to be forward. So just for some ventilation, I have some cheap mosquito netting that I bought and I'll just crack the windows a little bit and then shut this in the door. And that usually does the trick. It's kind of dirty back here, but there's actually a good amount of storage right back here under the platform um, as well. So that's a nice thing about those being hollow as you can still stuff stuff um, under there. Uh, another nice little side note is that when the pad is out and the headrest or the seats forward, the headrest makes a nice like backrest for when you're sitting up uh, with like a pillow tucked in there. One more tip that I actually didn't notice until yesterday. I stored these for the winter leaning up against the wall and it kind of made them bend a little bit so they're both like bent opposite directions which wasn't too big of a deal because when you lay on them they flatten out but just something to think about all right so then uh, when you're putting it back to drive out of here you just kind of slide these up Kind of just stack them on top of each other in, in the middle. You can leave these in the back seat. And then there you go. So I guess my thoughts on it as a camping option. Um, for me, this was the vehicle I had to work with and that was it. So um, for a small hatchback, I would say I mean, it can't get much better, I don't think, for the, the price, the amount of work that goes into it, and the functionality is is pretty great. Um, and comfort-wise, it's been super comfortable. There's plenty of space. I don't think there'd be enough room to put like drawers underneath this or anything. There is plenty of storage um, in the front seats and behind the front seats underneath the, underneath the platform, so that's nice as well. So yeah, all in all, I would say I'm super happy with how this turned out. Uh, it only took, I mean, a couple hours to build. I got kind of lucky, everything fit uh, pretty well. I'll include a, pl a post to my blog with some uh, the dimensions on a sheet of paper if that if that's more helpful. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really the main tips. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll include it uh, in the blog post on my website, uh, brackymountain.com.